Is it, is it doing a thing? Can't tell. I don't. Is it, I think it is. Oh, there we go. Apparently, there is controller support for this game. Let's see. Oh, I didn't mean to do that. What the fuck? Wow, look at this place. This is pretty. I love the fucking sounds. That's some good ambient noise. So apparently run is RB. I should probably fix that before we get into anything. Uh, do -de do 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 do. Take away motion blur. Gross. Disgusting. Into the scene. Everything's all decent right there. Uh, let's keep everything right where it is. I don't mind it. Hmm. Gamepad. Uh, why can't I go more down? Wait a minute. What if I... Yeah. Alright. Oh. Oh. So there's two different run buttons. Two different slide buttons. Interesting. Okay. Oh, okay. Neat. Wow, this is fucking pretty. Use only no entrance. I have no idea what this is about. I forget something about... A gaming expo. Ah. Probably get a little bit more familiar with the controls. Uh, what do we got? Shoot is that my own slide crouch jump? Right, right. Uh, okay. Jump. The convention center is now closed. Please leave via the nearest exit. Okay. Make 2020 something to remember. Oof. What if I don't want to go over here? What if I just want to go this way? Wow, look at the fucking floor. That's pretty. Oh, hello. Hey, how's it going? I think what I'm doing here is illegal. I what's uh what's all this? Can I have some chips? I like some chips. Security bots. Sludge life. Oh, hey, I have the, uh, that thing was free, um, on, uh, one of the stores. <laughs> I forget if it was, like, Epic or some other shit, but it was free for a while. I don't know if it's still free, but I have it downloaded, uh, 
interested in playing Hulk. What are you beeping for? Oh, hello. Not allowed over there. It's over here. I don't care. Oh. <laughs> Merch gun. <laughs> uh oh. Merch. There's no way they see me. You know, you don't know I'm right here, do you? It's crazy, bro. There's no way you know. Oh, I'm like super stealthy, bro. <laughs> okay, so this makes them all function for a wee bit locked. Alright, you stay there. I'm gonna see if I can fucking sneak in now. Do you have a key? No. Well, shit. You're fine. There you go. Nope. Wake up. I think I broke that one. Yeah, shit. This is kind of cool. I have like unlimited merch to start shooting off. <laughs> There's always a fucking game of gauntlet somewhere. Oh, red boy. I just straight up fucking snuck into a gaming convention. Doors locked. You don't know what's going on, do you? Nice. Well, apologies for the lack of options in this area. <laughs> I wish I could go on top of that thing. What do we got? Why are there no keys? I need keys. Oh, that sounds like he's coming back up. There has to be keys here somewhere, right? Enter the cell hall. Oh, that game was free too. I have it, maybe, but 
I don't know if I'm going to be playing it. Hmm. What if I do a little bit of this? Nice. <laughs> You don't, you don't know anything, right? Yeah, you don't know anything. Security areas are off limits to attendees. Cricket through the ages. Keyboard similar to that one. Ooh, a little pass. He doesn't know what's going on. Work groups are going to grow the house. Organically grow the holistic worldview of disruptive innovation via workplace diversity and empowerment? Hmm. A competently designed golf course ball player and cart simulation with a swing component des designed to be satisfying. Includes free roaming golfer and caddy, including indus using industry standard WASD mouse layout. Profitable suitable features are profitable, suitable for most ages. Uh, simultaneous multiplayer? Caddies, carts, bridges, system requirements. Uh, a game relying on the play rules of golf as a crutch. A brief history of successful projects. Falling Water by Frank Wright. Dulls Airport by Aerotheron and something Mr. Do unknown. This product, golf team. <laughs> he doesn't know what's going on. I want to go up here. But I can't. Think. Oh god. I just started freaking lagging all of a sudden. Uh. Ha! Nope. That's the big camera boy. Okay. You don't know I'm here. You're just auto playing that just in case an intruder does show up. You don't know you don't really know what's going on. Look at that. Weird West. Whoa. Go away. Processing? Oh no! Oh god! I've been caught! I've been had! They're going to take me to the jails and stuff! Illegals! Hey, how's it going? Intricate designs. Carry on. Oh. <laughs> oh my. Hello.
Hey, how's it going? Whoa. Oh, I think this is on my wish list, too. Oh, my. That's really fucking cool. He don't know what's going on. None of y'all know. He don't know. Oh, he might know. Nope, 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 nope. Whoa. In secret? We describe Weird West as an action RPG. Some would actually Pig it. This is Rafael Colantonio, creative director and president of Wolf Eye Studios, and I'm here today to tell you about our current game in development, Weird West. At its core, Weird West mm. is an action RPG set in a fantasy reimagining of the Wild West. You play through the adventures of five heroes that have intertwined destinies on a quest to unveil one of the biggest mysteries of the Weird West. Oof. While we describe Weird West as an action RPG, some would actually refer to the game as an immersive sim. There are many elements that set Weird West apart from any other action RPG out there, and I would love to show you a few examples now. <laughs> First, the simulation and sandbox nature of Weird West. The bulk of the team is composed of co-creators of Dishonored and Prey, so simulation is like a religion oh, wow. to us. It is in our DNA to let the players play their own way. Weird West is designed in a way that accommodates many play styles and many playthroughs. Whether you like combat or trickery or stealth or a mix of all of that, you'll enjoy experimenting with the tools the game offers in a system rich and physically simulated world. <laughs> Next, the setting and visual direction. The setting is Whoa. Weird West, you guessed it. It's an opportunity for us to explore a genre that has been kept underground, and we're excited about bringing our own take on it. As far as the visuals, we're going for a mix of 3D with hand-drawn textures and uncommon palettes that we think bring a unique style to the game. We want our world to be instantly recognizable and convey the mystery that is so important to the experience. Now, let's talk about how scripted versus how dynamic is the experience. While the game has a main quest, the events and the quests outside of the main path make use of what we call the conductor. 
which creates events and crafts a narrative that is specific to each playthrough. For example, Oof. let's say you kill one of these merchants while the other one escapes. The survivor will throw a vendetta at you and chances are they'll ambush you later when you expect it the least. This participates to the feeling of a very tailored experience per player. Finally, one more thing I wanted to mention is that your actions are permanent in Weird West. While you may resurrect when killed, your companion won't resurrect if you did not have a chance to revive them on time. And whatever choices you've made hmm. will stay in the game. So stealing shops and killing people have consequences you cannot discard by coming back in time with a simple game reload. We think it is a powerful way to give meaning to your actions and keep the tension high. That's about it for today. We have a few more surprises that I can't wait to talk about, but we're keeping some of these for later. <laughs> I hope you enjoyed what you saw. And please, stay tuned for future news about Weird West. This is Rafael Colantonio, creative director and president oh. of Apparently there are little secret boys somewhere. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. If there was a secret to watch carrying the trailer? Oh. Weird West is not my type of game, but it looks pretty cool. I don't think I'll play that play that one, but this one I'm really interested in. Oh, holy shit. <laughs> and on the Nintendo Switch, cool. Ah, <laughs> oh, no PlayStation. Marketing objective complete. Achievement, become the monster. Man, I really want to fucking play that one. Oh, hey. Hidden secret acquired, baby. Proceed to the next hall. Was there another one somewhere around here? I don't know if there was, like, a cup anywhere around here. So apparently the cups are the secrety bits. Dunk. Secrets? No. Oh, hey. For unannounced game? Ooh. Ooh. Hey. Ah. Oh. Super slide. Hmm. 
Nope. They have some sort of fucking movement sensors or some shit. Or proximity sensors. That's probably more of a better way to describe it. Secrety bits. No secrety bits. Secrety bits? No? No secrety bits? I don't see any secrety bits right here. Ah! Leg! Can I have a hat? No. No. But I want to hate it. Other action RPG out there, and I would love to show you a few examples now. First, simulation in sandbox nature of Weird West. Yeah. Fuck. No. Stay away. Where's the next one? There's an exit over here. Oh. 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 Okie dokie. Hey, you're not allowed in here. Oh boy. No, leave me alone. But I just won't be over there. Can I hit you? Ha! <laughs> oh, that worked. No, I wanted to go see if the the little slime monster dude had um can have a merch shirt on or any of the weird world shit. Oh yeah. There was something up here. A big robot boy, I think. Oh. I wanted to sip of that drink, but I guess that's dangerous. You don't know that. Oh boy. Oh wow. Oh fuck. Eh. Got him. Too smart for you. Frickin' laser beams. Achievement. Yeah. <laughs> Why can't I have some frickin' laser beams? Oh, hello. Yo, I have your merch shirts on. Yeah. Yeah, as I do it. Oh. What happens if I keep watching that thing? Oh. Stop there. Okay. Twenty twenty, okay. <laughs> mm. 
Neat. Can I go over here? No. Man, that moon looks nice as fuck. That's a clean ass moon. Only one way to go, I guess. Wee. Da 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 da. Hey, I took a shower. I'll have you know. Well, that was unnecessarily loud. Inspect the developer glove of power or something. Oh. The developer glove of power Mark II is here. Whoa, look at that. Pixel dust. Now, on his pursuit of salvation, Faraday is guided to an ancient harpoon of great power. Oh, would you? It awakens ancient enemies who slumbered in the depths of Terraphage. We are Skeleton Crew Studio from Kyoto, Japan. And we invite you to take a sneak peek at the story, mechanics, and the challenges in your all new game, Oria. Oh, I don't know how to... Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. is an action oh, yeah. adventure okay. game that takes place in the land of Terraphage. A lost world home to forgotten creatures, vast ruins, deep caverns, and rainforest top islands. You are Faraday, a shipwreck captain. You follow his adventure to rescue his lost crewmen, leading them to a safe return to their homeland. Now, on his pursuit of salvation, Faraday is guided to an ancient harpoon of great power. Mm -hmm. It awakens ancient enemies who slumbered in the depths of Terraphage. Ooh. I'd like to introduce the world of Oria. Wild, dark, unpredictable as an ambiguous dream. You will venture through many different islands on your search for a way out. You will travel through jungles and caverns, visit sites of old relic and ruins. Each land presents new challenges and new opportunities for you on your quest to escape this shadowy land. Next, combat. Combat is at the forefront of Olea, with visceral systems that challenge the way you think about space. You can dash and teleport using the harpoon, and then immediately face hand-to-hand -hand combat with minions spawned from the darkness. <laughs> Crafting and dining magic hats give you additional power, including dashing and wall jumping, spitting acid, and controlling and generating electricity. What? Puzzles complement battle sequence by rethinking movement through a maze-like world. There are five major boss battles in Olea. Each one introduces a new character's story, as well as new combat mechanics. By mastering each attack system, you will take down these bosses and be handsomely rewarded with new areas to explore and new mechanics to unlock. <laughs> Oof. Olia is an experience we poured ourselves into. Will you leave oh, early, master the harpoon, save the castaways, and solve the mystery that surrounds Olia? Olia. My my fucking brain just completely blocked out the we are still L. From Kyoto, Japan, and we invite you to take a sneak peek at the story, mechanics, and the challenges in your old new game, Olia. Olia is an action adventure game that takes place oh. in the land of Terraphate, a lost world home to forgotten. One out of four collaborators for unannounced games? What? I thought I already got one from the other ones. Uh. 
harpoon of great power. Whoa. Ancient enemies who slumbered in the depths of Terrafage. Oh, fuck. Piss off. Synchronize their ultimate abilities to unleash massive damage. <laughs> Battle through three distinct lands, each with several dungeons to conquer. Behold, Blightbound, a cooperative dungeon crawler that tasks three heroes to venture down from their mountain refuge to face the abominations of the Blight. A mysterious and corrupting fog that enshrouds the land. Each player will choose uh, a hero uh, classes. Warrior, I don't like that. Titans I don't like that style. Let me at him. Poor mage. My greatest power awaits. Battle a terrifying horde of monstrous enemies and colossal bosses. Each class of hero fulfills a specific role on the team to overcome mounting odds, solve clever puzzles, and synchronize their ultimate abilities to unleash massive damage. Battle through three distinct lands, each with several dungeons to conquer, including the eerie Gravemark, the oppressive Underhold, and the precarious Blood Ridge. Steal your nerves and prepare once again to enter the Blight Warrior. We are Blightbound. Eh. I'm not a big fan of that art style for the game. Blightbound. A cooperative dungeon crawler that tasks three heroes to venture down from their mountain refuge to face the played ultimate sim I, I think it's one of those games where it's like ridiculously crazy just to be ridiculously crazy I think if I remember correctly from what I saw it's got really nice fucking music hello what are you Fucking music, dude.
It was a badass fucking game. I don't know if I'll ever play it, though. Because it looks kind of Doom-esque, and I was never really interested in the Doom type of games. This is really cool though. So we got here any secrety bits? Hi. Oh, there's a cool little motorcycle right there. Oh, that's so cool. See anything? There you go. Whoa, what the fuck? Oh, jeez. <laughs> Boop. <laughs> I think I killed him, dude. <laughs> Holy frick, I think I killed him. <laughs> I straight up fucking murdered that guy. <laughs> oh, do, 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 do. oh, I can't. Why am I stuck here? Bam! 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 <laughs> bah! Bam! Adorable, even, but not my kind of game. Can I have one? You want merch? I got a merch gun, dude. <laughs> Achievement unlocked Wii. <laughs> Found all things for things. Yeah. <laughs> oh. Hmm. 
disc room. Oh. A giant disk is discovered in orbit of Jupiter. A crew of scientists is sent to investigate. <laughs> Derpy. Whoa. cool room. I'm gonna drive one of these. And there we go. You don't know nothing. Secret bits. Hello. Nope. That's a pretty big burger. Can I eat it? No. It's a lot of tomato. I don't like too much tomato on my boyga. Super slide. Even un unlocked Evolver fanboy. Ah! Okay. <laughs> well, howdy, stranger. Bang. Where are you? Can you hear me? Demons. They're trying to break through the gates. I'll track you down. Oh, damn. Disrespect to the dead, man. Jeez. <laughs> Who the hell let you out of the circus? Oh. Oh. So cool. I bet that had to hurt. Whoa. Oh, it's so cool. Ah. 
Oh, I want to play that one. That one. <laughs> yeah, I want to play that game. That's cool. I love the fucking flow of that shit. I felt like it played really fucking fun. Is that a fucking Oni, my dude? You should get a Kanabo, not some big ol' hammer thing. Wow, this is so fucking cool. Ooh. Wow. Ooh. Neat. I want to play Shadow War. Was there a little secret doodad around here? I don't remember if there was like a bag or some shit on this in this area. I don't think so. Probably not. All right. <laughs> you believe that the law of the series, but there is no doubt. Come here, you're coming with me. Just for funsies. Can I go back? Well, I can go through it again. I want to see if I can find like another bag. It might have been in this area, maybe. I don't know. Maybe I. Maybe I. I don't. I don't know if I already got something from here. I forget. I think I might have. I think I might have. I don't know if there was like a bag. Apparently there's there's like another one. One more somewhere. This is really cool. Just like, instead of going to like a gaming expo, I could just experience one from home. There's like a bag somewhere around here. Hmm. Definitely not one around here, not that I can see. Oh, they're back up. <laughs> oh, can I go up there? Probably not. No, I can't. Uh, 
There we go. No, I don't. I don't see any other. I think there was one right here, right? There you go. Oh, where could I have missed it? Inside the burger, maybe? No. That'll be ridiculous. Gotta pay attention to up to. I don't know if it's gonna be above me or not. It has to be somewhere though, right? I, I don't feel like it would be past the the doors that I'm supposed to go through. I feel like it might have been somewhere around here. Uh, yep. I love the detail that they put into this and I love the sounds. Everything sounds so fucking good. see another bag anywhere. <laughs> a little tiny one. They're just squishing little tiny ones. Man, where in the heck could the other bag be? Or whatever the heck I'm supposed to be looking for. Unless I just continue. <laughs> Dong. Open sesame mofos. Why don't you take your fucking merch back? Hey, whoa, whoa, bro, whoa, chill, my guy. Why you gotta be doing throwing fucking blades? Nah, take that back, boy. Get that weak shit out of here. <laughs> oh my. <laughs> Ow! 
Rude. Oh my. Oh my. Oh dear. I don't think you want to do this, buddy. Oh my. Whoa! Ah, oh, I wanted to fucking. Ah, oh, man. Oh! Fuck! That was not very nice of you. Oh my. Jeez. Unnecessary. Oh. Now what am I gonna sit on? <laughs> oh boy. I mean, why not? Oh! No! Woo oh, I missed. Oh boy! Is that all you can say, huh, nerd? Ah, oh, fuck. Hey, achievement unlocked, Expo Pro, baby. Get fucking wrecked. Wow. Cool. Fucking cool. <laughs> well, that was fun. I got to see like a bunch of fucking cool games that's that's coming out and, and that I can actually play. I really love the fucking whole concept of going to an expo without going to an expo. Because I don't have no dang all money to go all the way over there, especially not around these times, and especially uh, I probably shouldn't be going to <laughs> anything in public around these times. But this was really fucking cool. Man. Alright, well, that's about it for the end of the stream. Uh, I just wanted to check out this thing and see what this was all about. And, uh, yeah, that's the end of the stream. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, uh, if you saw any games that you were interested in, uh, feel free to go and check them out. Uh, maybe follow some of them peoples who make those games, because then maybe you can get some more of them things. I wasn't too much of a fan of a lot of them, because, you know, they're just not my type. But the uh, 
The one with the fucking oh, I forgot the name, but the one with the 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 monster that and that went and go and like ate people and shit. Uh, and then the other one, um, what was it? The fucking warrior one? Ah, oh, fuck. I, I'm so fucking bad with names, but I want to play those ones. Uh, maybe you'll see me play those ones in the future. But with that being said, I'm going to be on the stream right now. So, later. <laughs>